How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to another episode of Machia Villain. Today, we're going to continue building our second mansion here. Now, unfortunately, we did lose our first mansion due to a save being deleted, but I kind of think it was a good thing because we're, we have a much better mansion now. Uh, it's a much larger mansion. We're going to have room for expansion and whatnot, and it's not going to be so ugly, I guess you could say. So today we're going to focus on expanding this out. I really need to get them some bedding as you can see, so uh, that's going to be a big goal of mine because I'm assuming when they have bedding they're going to be happier monsters and therefore easier monsters to deal with. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be a big thing. I want to get the factory up as well. So I guess we could add like a trap room at the end. That might be fun to try. Maybe we can actually uh, expand this out a little bit and put a trap room. Uh, I think, you know, this is probably as big as we're going to need the place to be once they're of course done doing all of this. So yeah, it might be fun to do that. We can also entice victims in with a bunch of things like a jacuzzi, for example, things like that. So I think we'll get into that, if not today, in the very near future. But the traps, I mean, there's just so many. Rotating wall for virgin? <laughs> what? Unicorns fail to attract virgins and rotating walls never fail to send them to the next room. 100% chance of attracting a virgin. Isn't that the greatest thing ever? All right, so right now it's basically Betty by time. We have three days worth of food. I gotta make sure I'm continuing doing these ad campaigns. I think it should all be automated. And victims are coming. So we already must have sent out mail and I just sent out more mail. So I think we're gonna be okay for food now. We still have three days of food. We dropped down to one day at, at one time. So that was a little risky. But I intentionally did that because I wanted to focus on building as much as quickly as possible. So let's uh, get these jobs or stop all jobs and get these guys back into their rooms. Yeah, I really like the idea, though, of making, like, a death room. So, uh, I might even change... I know you can make invisible doorways, so we might change all these to invisible doorways. That way they have no choice but to walk down the corridor of doom. But I'm getting way too ahead of myself right now. We have to kill some victims right now, so we're just gonna wait it up, and, uh, everything should be clean. Yes, we cleaned up everything, so there really is no reason for them to be scared, aside from the lack of light around us, which we probably should address as well. Uh, but yeah, just gonna wait for these victims to come in and, uh, have a nice little feast here. So there they are, and they are scared already. That's all right. And I think it's because, yeah, the room's too small. They don't like small, small rooms. So we got one being attacked. Let's, where's the other one? Is that? Okay, that's the same one, probably. Let's see if we can find where the other one is. Uh, looks like we're all attacking the same guy. Uh, the other guy's not gonna be able to get away anyways. And there we go. The best dad. He had a best dad shirt on. Oh, I feel so bad now, but really I don't because this is, you know, this is, this is the job of being a monster. So resume all jobs. And I think we have a good setup here, too. We have everybody doing, you know, the basic stuff, but we also have them each doing something uh, that's important before that as well, like maintenance and storing resources. So it looks like somebody was hungry. They went right to the uh, thing here and ate right away. The best. <laughs> you left the shirt on when you did all the work. All right, so now we're up to four days. So, yeah, this is working perfectly. I might actually want to go to the next ad campaign, which will give us three victims. But for right now, I, I think I'll wait till we get one more life form, and then we might want to get that other one. Okay, so what's going on here? Oh, 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 spider attack. Okay, I was going to try and get some more trees, but uh, looks like we got a spider attack here. So let's see. Don't see any just yet, but we got to watch out because they're going to come in. So yeah, it looks like they're still doing the work anyways, so this is going to take a while to get all this uh, platform down. Still waiting for these spiders. Is there, Are they going to... Well, we'll, ar we'll ar archive it. I know there's spiders around. I think they kind of just wait wait for the, the right time, though. Oh, damn, I didn't even see them there. All right, well, let's get Nick to help out here because my skeleton's uh, pretty actually low health right now. So I might want to figure out how to heal these guys. Uh, yeah, because this is gonna be pretty damn risky. Let's actually get the rest of these guys to come and help out as well. Because, yeah, last thing I want to do is kill a poor skeleton here. So I need to figure out... I've never really figured out how to heal them. I know you can get a healing station in the research room. But I gotta assume, like, you can probably eat these damn plants. Uh, wooden flooring, that's not what I want. Purple mushroom, edible, nutritious, but a little heavy on the stomach. Okay, but yeah, I know there's certain ones that actually heal you as well. Let's actually just get him. I think this is a, a potion, so we're going to equip that. And let's see what happens when we do this. So, if we get him to equip it, uh, he's holding it. I don't really know. Okay, what if we tell him a small healing potion? Take a swig to get a little health back during a fight. So, it has to be during a fight? Use. Okay, so I can use it. 
There we go. And he should at least be healed. So I should probably hold on to those healing potions. I didn't realize I could equip them. I haven't really gotten too deep into the fighting, obviously, in this game yet. All right, checking out my research. We actually got uh, more than enough points to get the demonic axe. That's something we're going to want because we got lots of trees around us. Unfortunately, they're demonic trees. So, uh, yeah, we're going to, I think, do that one first. We'll get that, research not waste any time here. And now we have the broom of doom and the, de the demon's pickaxe as well. So, actually, oh, the printing press actually only takes 10 research points as well. Maybe I should have got that instead. But that's fine. We'll be able to get that next fight and heal. There's the healing pod. So that only takes 15 of the basic research points as well. So I guess I have to decide here. I think I might actually get the, he the healing pod. Because the printing press would be great, but I'm not really having a hard time making all this mail as well. So, uh, yeah, we definitely got to get these guys a room very, very soon here. Just because they're sleeping everywhere. And humans are coming. I'm going to try and give this guy a chance to go put the mail in. I mean, the more mail we can have, the better. Looks like, yeah, we still got 53 seconds, so lots of time. Just put it in that box. There we go. Now let's get everybody to get ready. All right, and they should be here anytime. Check out all that money. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's just uh, speed up time. We've seen this a few times now. They're scared. Oh, they actually walked in. All right, perfect. Here, we'll attack that one with that. And then let's just bring this guy outside. Oh, he's running. Oh, we actually got a runner for once. Usually they just sit there all scared. This one's actually running. Unfortunately, she ran into the wrong room because you're stuck and you're dead right in the perfect spot. We can drop your stuff off right where it needs to be. All right, so there we go. Another victim down and uh, we got some more suspicion, of course. All right, and now we have enough research to get the healing pod. Now, I don't think we're going to have the materials to do that. That's what I'm a little worried about, which is why we should maybe do the printing press first. But you know what? I'm not having an issue doing the printing. So let's just see what the healing pod's all about. Uh, because obviously I kind of need it. Kyle's lowering his health right now. I'm thinking the mushrooms heal him, but nobody has time to actually go pick any mushrooms either. We actually have one in the uh, inventory. So yeah, let's just see what is uh, this healing machine. What is it all about? So yeah, we just need stone. That's actually not bad. So it looks like somebody needs to use it to heal the other person. That's actually really cool. So we're obviously going to keep that in the lab there. And uh, yeah, once we get some stone, which isn't going to be a big deal, we still got this up here. Uh, we should be able to do that. So with that in mind, I do want to get that up pretty damn quickly because uh, I am losing health with some of my guys here. So we're going to put dig into rock before building. Uh, there's building I have to do as well, but... If we can get some of this stone really, really quickly, then we should be able to make this healing pod without much issue. Actually, how much stone have we got? We got 310, and we're going to need 500. So, yeah, no time at all. And before I make a huge mistake, let's add to the cleaning area out front. Uh, we definitely want to get rid of that blood because they're going to scare any of our uh, victims away. So, he's actually cleaning up the uh, cooking area here. Hopefully, he'll go over and do that uh, before the next victims come. All right, the Undertaker's here to sell us some dead bodies. Uh, I don't think we're going to really want any. We have five days of food. This is really nice to have, though. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to say not interested for right now. Now, we're getting closer to the amount of stone that we need. No time at all, and we should be ready to go. Uh, actually, Brendan's got a level up here. Let's spend his skill points and not waste time. All right, so, ooh, you can hypnotize. In which you control your enemy for a duration of 80 seconds? That's actually really, really cool. Uh, and then bat transmutation, which we can do on ourselves and victims can't see you. Oh, that's really cool too. So we can keep that outside or something. I think I'm going to do hypnotize instead though. That could be useful if, for example, a big spider comes that uh, I don't want damaging us. All right, we should have enough stone now too. So we're going to put dig into rock back down and we're going to focus on building and chopping wood because now we got the stone that we uh, needed. Why is this one flashing, by the way? Oh, what's this? Loyalty. Uh-oh. Uh, no loyalty. High loyalty. Okay, so I do have an unhappy minion here. Nick doesn't really like me very much. Oh, victims are coming. Oh, God. Okay, I'm not sure why v Nick's uh, loyalty is down, but hopefully we can address that later. There's a lot of things going on right now, though, so that's the least of my concerns. As long as Nick has a full belly, I don't really give a damn what he thinks, to be totally honest. All right, but here we go. They're coming in, and uh, we got lots of food, but we may as well try and get some more. We got a five days of storage right now. Not bad at all. Victim. And some free food. There we go. We got more suspicion here, but that's all right. Kyle David also leveled up, 
So let's see what kind of skill he can get. Uh, he can throw own bones. Great. Well, skeleton's not as fun as a vampire, that's for sure. Oh, crap! I need stone bricks! I don't even need ordinary stone, I need stone bricks! So that is a little bit frustrating. So we're gonna need to actually make the factory. I should have put this up long ago. So let's start doing that now. So what we're gonna wanna do, the factory's gonna need a pretty decently sized room. So I think I'm just going to uh, put the wall here and put a factory inside this side. And uh, obviously I need to finish up the flooring though. There's so many things I need to do. Should I put the factory over here? I guess beside the research, it kind of makes sense. And the flooring is already there, so we don't need to waste time. And then obviously over here, we'll have uh, probably our bedding area. That being said, though, that's a lot of room for bedding. So I might have to go back to the drawing board for that. Now, I'm actually going to put building at the top because I still got to finish all this flooring. So I need everybody to help me out at this point because there's just there's too much to do. So we're just going to speed up time. And actually, we're going to probably have to get more resource resources as well. So we're going to chop some of these trees. Actually, we can chop these trees as well because they're not dangerous anymore. And we should make quick work of building the rest of this. Oh, isn't it so much easier when everybody works together? This is what I'm talking about. Now, we're dropping down to three days of food already. We're just having problems with storage. I need to get that smoker up, man. So, oh, what's this? Uh, sharp canines bar. Sell vampire goods to the bartender. 13 smoke blood. I can't even smoke my own blood. So, yeah, bribe him by offering a drink of fresh blood and ask him to come back in three days when you have the goods. Okay, so that's for 400 gold. I don't need gold right now, so I'm not interested in that. I'd actually rather get some more blood, damn it. And my vampire, as you can see, he keeps going on fire. Uh, we, we have, we, I do have that issue of my vampire combusting himself. So he does take a little bit of damage in doing that. So that's why I want to get this health thing up, because we have that vampire we got to deal with, and my skeleton's just been damaged this whole time. All right, finally, we got a room, though. So we're going to door this off, door that off, and, uh, yeah, get back to work here. I guess, you know what, we may as well finish up this room as well. I'm thinking I'm going to want to put a small room in the back here, though, and that's going to be our bedding area. So, yeah, what we're going to do is split this right down the middle, kind of, and we're just going to actually, I think we're going to open up the rest of this, and we'll actually put a door maybe back here, and that's going to be our kill room. So, I kind of screwed this up a little bit, but that's no big deal. You get your resources back anyways. We'll disassemble that, or cancel the construction, and... Yeah, this is gonna be, for now, the layout of our house. It's not bad. It's definitely not a mansion, though. But it should be good enough for what we need it for. So we're gonna close this off and hopefully keep the vampire inside because he keeps burning and uh, we clearly need to keep him inside. And I just realized something amazing. You can copy more than one freaking monster and tell them to go to the room. That makes dealing with this so much easier. So there we go. Victims are coming uh, in good time, too, because we only got two days worth of food. So, uh, Victims yeah. Are coming. I might have to go to the tier two mailing to get three victims, because this is uh, not feeding me that much, really. Okay, there they are. Okay, good. I, I thought maybe they weren't coming inside. They took a while that time, but they did after a while. So there we go. And it looks like some guy's down here. So there we go. We got it nice and split. Is there three in here? I think there's only two. Yeah, there we go. All right, everybody's dead once again, and let's go back to doing all the jobs. All right, so I'm hoping, yeah, let's get this built, guys. Let's get this all built up so I can actually put in some damn rooms. All right, so yeah, I changed the ad campaign up to the 10-1. That should give us three basic victims, and uh, that should make us a little bit, or that should make life a little bit easier, rather. Now, looks like we're pretty much ready to go here, so I can actually put the factory down. Well, they're uh, finishing, up the, finishing up the final touches over there. We will do that. All right. Now, I thought the factory stuff was a bit bigger than this, so we might want to even resize this room later. Doesn't really matter, though. We can have a big factory if we want to. The manufacturing thing is the bigger one, though. So there we go. Uh, at least we got those in there for right now. Now, is there any more in the factory? I'm assuming... No, that's it. That's all there's going to be in the factory. So we might even put, like, some training in here or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out later. Right now, I just want to get the baseline down so we can... Uh, focus on expansion. And finally, now we have a bedding area. It took me forever to get here, but uh, it's no big deal. They, they they sleep wherever they want anyways, but uh, obviously it's always better when you have some beds to sleep in. So there we go. We'll do something like that for right now. 
Oh, thank God! I don't- I didn't even notice they made the freaking smoker! That's amazing! Alright, victims are coming, though, so let's focus on doing that. And, like I said, this new thing that I learned is amazing, so I can- Oh, it's- it's only for control click, but I can tell everybody to go here, and then we'll just tell them to stop all jobs. So it, they should get ready, and here comes some more residents. We didn't really clean victims up very well. Uh, actually, we'll just keep the door open. Doesn't even matter. They're just gonna get a surprise when they open it. They, they go. So we got them. Rule number one, kill them all. That's exactly what we did. All right, resume all jobs. Now, we still have three days of food. I'm wondering, why aren't they cleaning up the damn meat? Okay, so what did I get him to do? Oh, poor Shinev here also has the job of doing maintenance. And that's just too much for one person. So we're actually going to tell Kyle David to, uh... Well, what do we not want him to do? I guess not mine, because we don't really mind too much, and we're going to tell him to do maintenance as well. Because the last thing we want to deal with is having too much blood on the ground, and then we're just not going to get any victims to come here. Finally, we got some beds! How's the factory doing? Okay, so we do have the factory up as well. That's something else i got to figure out what I want to do with. I mean, we have so much freaking burnt food here, or spoiled food. Let's actually get uh, them to do all this, so... I just, I wish I could just tell them to do everything, you know? But smoke food does not rot, so it's very, very important. So we're going to maintain a stockpile of 30, well, we'll just do like a crazy amount and then they'll have to do all of them. So maintain 71, and yeah, basically I'm telling them to do all of it. I'm hoping we don't own more than that anytime soon. So there we go. So thank God we should be able to deal with food a little bit easier now that it's not going to rot away, basically, right, right, right away. So yes, they're sleeping in their beds. That means they should hopefully be happier as well. All right, I gotta clean the blood quick because we got some victims coming. I'm just trying to hide the fact that, you know, we're a bloody mess inside. So there we go. Here they come. This is gonna be our biggest one yet. So obviously we wanna get everybody inside. And now that we can smoke things, obviously a really good thing and Brendan's still burning even on the inside okay well oh well what the hell oh that must have just totally vanished all right hopefully they didn't see me I doubt they did and we should be able to see them right when they come inside I hear them I hear something it sounds like a bike oh there they are okay so here we go and time for a good old time here so let's get the one let's do one at a time there we go got that one get this one everybody there you go. And there should be... Is that another one? Okay, so there we go. Now we at least got some meat, and then we can smoke that meat. So we're going to resume all jobs. I'm assuming the kitchen worker will just smoke the meat when it's done ch being chopped. Let's find out here. Let's just speed up time. And it looks like he's going to chop up everything first, and then he might move on to smoking. Yes, there we go. Actually, that was someone else just randomly smoking. So it looks like maybe everybody helps. Ooh, actually, okay, we got some food coming in as well. Now, now I got to figure out what we really need. Definitely don't need bones. We really don't have too much meat, so I'm going to buy uh, so, some of this meat here. And because we can smoke it, we may as well, you know, go a little bit crazy here. Now, what, what do these do? Blood sausages make for a tasty meal. Loyalty 10 during one day. So you actually get benefits going to this crazier food. Uh, so yeah, you get loyalty, which is really, really cool. Now, we can also get healing potions. Again, if I can get my healing thing up, I don't really see the need. So we're just gonna buy that. I guess we could use some brains as well. So let's buy, uh, you know, 30 brains. And we're gonna buy those. That should be more than enough, I think. I don't think there's anything else I really need. Because we have actually quite a bit of blood. So there we go. And now we have four days worth of food. I didn't want to go too crazy with buying it. That's good enough for me. All right, let's finally get the factory working here. Now, unfortunately, as you can see, no one is good at being a factory worker here. So I'm hoping we can find someone that's good at doing that. I don't even know who we should put here. We have the lab. That's very important. The home office and the kitchen. So I guess that puts Kyle on factory work as well. So let's get him to do that. And I'm going to move it up right above this. And we're going to tell him to not... I guess get wood. Man, this is really spreading out my uh, work here. Unfortunately, I don't have enough people to do everything. So we kind of got to get a little bit crafty here. But really, that's not awful. So there we go. We should have a factory worker now. And let's get working on that factory. Well, crap. The basic workshop doesn't even have what I need. So I'm thinking, oh, it's definitely going to be the manufacturing workshop. Uh, so yeah, this one we can make steel plates, plank of wood, and plank of evil wood. 
Not what we need, unfortunately, so I guess we don't have to worry about factory work anytime s or within the next little bit. But we do need to actually prepare. We need to get some stone. We don't have any stone at all, basically, so I think we're going to start focusing on mining. Looks like what he's one step ahead of me. Actually, he really shouldn't be doing anything. That's why, because I didn't do any research here. So let's get him to get back inside. What's the demonic pickaxe do? Dig through the rock faster. Yes, definitely something good to buy right now. And I guess the Broom of Doom would be smart as well because you collect blood with that. So he's going to get 10 more points and then we'll get the Broom of Doom. Oh, please tell me I can recruit someone. Thank God. I need, I need the extra help. So this is actually very, very important. Now I need to decide though. I got... Enough money to buy somebody, as you can see. Actually, uh, this one's 5,000? My god! Frankenstein is, uh, very, very expensive here. So these are obviously some of the more high-tech ones. Or I guess you could say, uh, more complex characters. But unfortunately, it looks like, how many can we buy? So we can't buy these two, so we have to choose between Pumpkinhead, Pumpkinhead, and a tire. So they all eat blood, which is weird, because I thought- I was hoping a tire would eat nothing. But, uh, looks like that is not the case. So... We got to basically decide based on their traits as well as how much they eat uh, and their life total. So obviously pumpkin heads are pretty damn powerful. Loyalty plus five. Dwight seems like he'll be a good choice. Scott, how's he doing? Oh, this is the guy that actually gives plus two jobs. And with an easygoing nature of uh, loyalty plus five, I think Scott Cooper is the answer here. Uh, he's going to use a lot of blood, but we got to remember we're going to be getting the uh, blood mop as well. So we should be gaining more blood anyways. So welcome, Nerfing Herder. Uh, you are going to be the pumpkin head. And we are going to buy this guy, and that used basically all my money. So welcome, Mr. Pumpkinhead. You are uh, something that I desperately needed. So let's actually see what he's good at. Uh, he's good at the lab. Well, he's actually okay at the lab. Not, not as good as Brendan, unfortunately. Doesn't look like he's actually good at really anything. Uh, at least overly good at anything. But that's fine. I want him to do the dirty work anyways. Digging rock, chopping woods, and building. That's what I'm going to make him do almost all the time. Because the other guys, they just don't have enough time, man. And that's that, that's the biggest issue. So this guy will be a good helper. And uh, yeah, now we got to really start worrying about blood, though. And we actually just killed a bunch of people. We got three days worth of food, which really isn't that much. So let's actually see. How's the research going here? Because we should actually be almost done that. 19. So yeah, we just got to wait for the final one. He's probably doing it right now. So yeah, we'll just watch that and get that broom upgrade so we earn the blood that we are going to need to do this. All right, so now he's going to do other stuff as well, but I'll probably get him to go back to researching because uh, there's got to be something in here that we need. So we're going to research that. And, ooh, the stove. So that only takes the ordinary research points, which is actually really nice. Fire hydrants separate dogs from their master. That's something that we're going to want. Printing press again soon, uh, but we don't need to actually make that much, so... I'm thinking the next goal is going to be this stove. So, obviously, we'll get him back in there re re researching. And it looks like they're doing, yeah, with that upgraded pick, as you can see, much, much faster. We should actually make really quick work of this. And I'm going to push this back a little bit because we might want to expand out our house. You never know. Let's get some of this metal, though. The metal is going to be very important. So, he's basically going to do just that. This is actually great for me. All right, so the big question, is this going to be enough blood to deal with the amount I'm going to need? Because uh, these guys are eating a lot of blood. Oh, I told them to not stop working. Let's uh, stop all activities, and let's not run around, guys, because that's kind of important. So, there we go. Put them back in there, and they're coming in no time anyways. Hurry up, nerfing, Victims and here they come. All right, there they are. It looks like, how many do we got? Three. Perfect. This is, uh, this is exactly what I wanted. And I hope we get lots of blood. That's the big goal. Blood. You poor, poor souls, you. All right, Nerfing Herder, you're going on the final one alone. So here we go. Ooh, they're trying to run away. They actually tried to run, but obviously there's only one entrance into this mansion, and that's the way to do it. Uh, all right. Come on. Come on, Nerfing. Come on, new guy. Okay, you're way too slow. <laughs> let's, uh, let's help him out. There you go. Okay, but let's see if we resume all jobs. Oh, we already got six days worth of food. So our only issue was the blood, man. Uh, even without chopping this stuff up. So then we're going to chop it up. So I'm actually going to tell, uh, what's his name? Let's not write any more, uh, letters because we're not going to need it for a little bit of time here. All right, seven days of food, and we're only going to get better because it's going to be smoked as well. Nine days, ten days of food. That was our issue, man. Look at all that blood on the ground. 
from us cleaning it up. And even when we chop up the meat, we're gonna get more blood because we make blood all over here as well. So I was worried we were gonna use too much blood, but as you can see, no big deal, no big deal at all. So now I'm actually thinking, okay, we got these trees being told to chop, so I think we'll tell them to stop getting logs soon, but we're gonna need, how much do we need? We need a thousand. Okay, there's, I thought we needed like 600. No, we need a thousand here. What is this? Undertaker? Uh, I don't need any. I, don't, I, don't, I definitely don't need any, need any food now. We're good for 13 days. This is amazing. Okay, and now that we have so much time on our hands because we don't really need to worry about food, look at this. Look at how many people are chopping wood for us. We needed 200 wood. I, I didn't realize that evil wood is different than ordinary wood. We're already at 1,389, so we should now have everything we need to build. So let's go... Uh, Put building back in on the focus, and we'll see what happens in here. Because he still haven't, we haven't built the bed even over here. It looks like... Oh, he is building it. Okay, he's just building it through the door like an idiot. So there we go. Nerfing Herd has finally got a bed. Now what I'm hoping for is they actually build this. Oh, we need planks. God, I'm screwing up everything. I thought we needed ordinary wood. I thought we needed special stone. Clearly, I'm just messing up everything. Oh, we needed a special stone for this one. That's right. So now we need to actually make planks. So this is actually good. Because we have this over here. So how many do we need? 200. So let's actually put a stockpile of uh, 400, 300, something like that in here. That looks good enough to me. And uh, hopefully it won't take too long to make those. My bad. Now we actually have the factory worker doing something. Let's make sure I still have that on. Uh, and yes, Kyle David is the factory guy. So once he's done sleeping, we'll actually be able to make some of this stuff. Uh-oh. Uh, what happens with an angry minion? The loyalty level of one of your minions is low, and they are getting angry. Look at the loyalty tab in the minion info panel to see what they want. If they stay angry for too long, they will refuse to obey your orders and cause damage to the mansion and eventually leave. Okay, so Brendan isn't very happy. To be fair, Brendan's had a hard time. So what's going on, Brendan? What's wrong? You're hungry. Your sleep is disturbed by other minions entering the room. Okay, well, I guess that's important. Maybe we should actually expand out these rooms and make little rooms for each one of them, uh, which I think we will do because we have all this room anyways. So that will be something we do next time. I've also He's also been severely wounded for too long. And uh, I actually, I don't know how to... Uh... Okay, well, let's actually use this on him. I mean, he is severely wounded, so let's see if he'll eat that. Oh, he actually doesn't have a consumable, so we still have this thing. Let's actually equip that, and that's the final one I have, so this might make Brendan a little bit happier at least, so that's very important, and we're going to use this. So there we go. It, it, he's still very, very low, as you can see, unfortunately, so those things really don't help too much. We might want to buy a few one of, of those. Let's see if did that help at all. No, he's been severely wounded for, st for too long still. So, obviously, prime focus of mine right now is to get the healing machine up. Brennan's not very happy, and uh, it's kind of deserving that he's not happy. He's, he's, he's had a rough time here. So, yeah, we really got to get the uh, stone bricks, which means we have to get this machine. So, I'm kind of waiting on the planks right now. How many planks? We have 50 so far, and unfortunately, my factory worker is not the fastest. He's also low, low loyalty, so we actually got some loyalty issues right now, so we might want to work on buying some better food to increase that loyalty. Unfortunately, I don't even have my phone, so I can't call the food in, and I don't have any money either, so we're just going to have to risk having some angry monsters. I mean, they are monsters after all. It's, it, it's not always going to be easy. What I do think we should do is try and figure out these plants. I need somebody collecting the plants because I think... That is where it's going to heal us. So let's get uh, at least those things done. And we'll get somebody to actually focus on plant collecting. Uh, who's really good at this? Brendan is, evidently. So Brendan's the lab guy. We don't really need to rush the lab. So I'm going to get him to focus on collecting plants right now. And, I mean, he shouldn't be outside. He's going to take damage. <laughs> but he's good at doing it, too. So let's hope this will work in my favor. All right, Brendan's health scaring me a little bit. I'm going to get him to try and eat this, and we'll see what happens. There we go. Plus 10 health. Okay, Brendan. Unfortunately, it's going to slow him down. Don't really give a damn, though. Brendan, you can be as slow as you want right now, bud, because we need to get your health up. We need to get you happy and more loyal. That's kind of very important right now. Oh, is it going? I swear my, my health just went down a little bit, but maybe I'm crazy. Unfortunately, these things don't heal very much, so healing in this game... Uh, it is going to be a little bit difficult. He's still pretty damn bad. I No, I don't want to cut the tree. Collect this plant. And just collect them all, man. 
Because we need lots of little mushrooms. Let's tell him. I thought there was lots of mushrooms here. I, I got rid of all those? Oh, God. This is not good, guys. We're running out of mushrooms. So, health is my only issue. I don't know what the best way to go about healing is. Obviously, I mean, this is a goal, but we have to wait until we can get that. And we got the stove! Research so yeah, we're gonna finish that. Research has completed. So now we can put a stove inside here. Uh, I'm hoping we have enough room. I don't know how big the stove's gonna be. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Looks like we can definitely put it right over here. So there we go, perfect. Now what's that going to take? We have enough planks. We need planks of evil wood. We need the stone bricks. So we need stone bricks for everything. So obviously, uh, that's gonna come very, very soon. Once we get, uh, once we unlock the stone bricks, I mean, we're golden. We're at 140 right now. I have actually two people working at the factory because they're not quick enough. And I'm hoping, yeah, we should have this 200 planks soon. What? What did you just do? Well, nerfing fixed it. Freaking guy actually just attacked the damn door. I mean, I understand he's angry. Uh, that's why I'm keeping him inside because the more he goes outside, the more he burns. So he's in rage mode at this point. I, is uh, your damn mission. it! All right, thank you, Nerfing. You are MVP right now. All right, and finally, we're gonna hit the big one, our 200, rather. So please tell me. Your let's actually vandalizing stop vandalizing mission. my stuff, you jerk! Uh, I have to get somebody to focus on building right now. I guess Nick should be doing that. We'll tell him to not cook, though, and hopefully Nick will build this really, really quickly because I want to figure out what's going on here. Nick, wake up! I'm actually just gonna tell him to build this first. So let's do that. Not enough resources, what am I missing now? Planks, what did you use the planks of wood on? Oh no! Oh damn it, I don't even know. Is it this top rack? Cause this top rack is visible. That only takes 50 planks of wood though. I honestly, maybe I'm missing something here, but I don't know where those planks of wood went. There's nothing else that needs planks of wood Oh, this is just frustrating. I'm hoping somebody's maybe going to build it. Uh, but the fact that we don't have any planks at the top... Oh, they are there. What the hell? So for some reason, nobody will build the damn thing for me. I have the planks. They're somewhere. Oh, it looks like... Yes! Okay, someone was just, you know, preparing all the planks and everything. Kyle, to be more precise. So I just want to see what is stone going to require because that's going to be our next goal to get 500 stone bricks. We have lots of stone out of the ground. So I'm hoping we can just, you know, do this immediately, basically. Because I'm getting sick of Brendan being a jerk, destroying everything. Look, he keeps he keeps attacking the beds. I'm not sure why it's always the beds, but it is. Okay, so let's see. So it takes, what does it take? It takes 10 stone to make 10 stone bricks. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So we're going to, uh, yeah, do this immediately. We're going to try and stockpile as much as possible. I think we're going to need two factory workers. There's just too much to do in this one building. So... Yeah, I'm just basically going to tell them to do like 600, and yeah. All right, let me actually see. I think I got two factory workers, and yes, as you can see, Kyle and Nerfing Herder are both factory workers, so we should be making both at the same time. All right, guys, so we're going to wrap up this one here. We are on the route to actually getting the stone that we need to make some of the bigger stuff, so I'm excited about that. I'm hoping we can deal with Brendan for a little bit longer until we get this health thing up, and then that should totally fix him. So we have two factory workers. It shouldn't take too long to hopefully make all this, and then we're going to be able to unlock a lot of really cool things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.